Hello everyone! Welcome back to Faywood Meter. If you're new here, then hi! How are you? We've got Christina here, and we are going to be trying the cherry pomegranate mead. It has been just over a year? A year and three months? Almost, almost three months. Oh golly. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm excited. Because this one was really good before, so we'll see how it's like matured. Well, this stuff? is my first time trying it, so I'm really excited. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You never tried this one. I don't think so. I really don't think so. So this is cherry juice, pomegranate juice, and cacao nibs just thrown in. I did not toast them. Toast your cacao nibs. And I think vanilla. There was vanilla in there? I think so. Because I'm a vanilla girl. I just throw that in whenever I can. <laughs> well, it usually turns out well. So. I love vanilla. It's an interesting color. I've got some muck at the bottom of this bottle because sometimes my clearing is not good. Whoa. It smells like chocolate. So it's a cacao nibs on the nose for it sure. It smells like chocolate. Oh, and this was um, not straight tart cherry. It's like tart cherry and there's apple juice in there too. Oh. It's like a blend and then but the other one, the other half is pure pomegranate. It smells so interesting. I can't I can't get over that. It smells like chocolate and cherries and it does. I almost smell orange. Maybe because we were talking about chocolate orange before this, but I've got orange on the brain. Yeah. What kind of honey do you use for this? I don't remember. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. That is so smooth. Oh, oh. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. That is so smooth. I like that one. <laughs> oh, what? That turned out good. What? What is this? Is this really 14%? Yeah, 14 and a half. Because I don't taste any alcohol. It's smooth, though. Oh, my holy mead. That is so smooth. This is pure magic. It's really good. Oh my God. And it's not very acidic either. No, it's not. That's so nice. I put two vanilla beans in that. I don't taste any vanilla. I mean, maybe that's part of why it's so smooth. I, I don't taste, I literally taste the mellowest cherry with a little bit of pomegranate and a little bit of the cacao. The vanilla is, it's under all of that. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's blended with the chocolate too. In a really nice way. It makes it makes them both better, I think. Yeah, it's not just fruit. It's not just the cacao nibs. It, yeah, there is the vanilla there, but it that's what's balancing it all out. So this is two pounds clover honey. Mm -hmm. One quart pomegranate juice, one quart tart cherry. And then I put a third a cup of chocolate nibs and two vanilla beans in secondary. And that was it. Hmm, you didn't oak that? It almost has an oakiness to it. Maybe that's oh. just the age. It's probably the age blended with maybe the vanilla bean skins gave like a tannic quality. Okay. That makes sense. I would guess the untoasted cacao nibs maybe gives that kind of vibe. That's gorgeous and lethal. Mm -hmm. This is good. I think that's one of the best things you've ever made. Thank you. I could order that at a restaurant and you could tell me that was a hundred dollar bottle of wine and I'd believe it. Like without any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> that is just so so good. I need to make this again. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna do. make it again and oh man, with that's some like good. updated practices, with some purposeful balance. I don't know. It doesn't really need a whole lot of balancing. It's pretty balanced uh, as it is. It doesn't really. need a thing. It's pretty. Uh, that's yeah, good. Pretty simple and no actual fruit, just juice, pure juice. I'd be interested interested to see how it was different with actual with some actual cherries and some actual pomegranate yeah I just would... just to see how it was different mm -hmm. but i love it at room temperature a lot of meads better at a little bit under room temperature just with a little bit of a chill on it but that is just perfect as is can i go to a cabin in the woods on a fall day with a bottle of that please oh that please that's nice that's a nice visual. I think making again, but add probably some dried tart cherries in the secondary with some crushed pomegranate seeds. Mm -hmm. uh, just to pull more of that like real fruit 
not just juiced flavor. And to kind of bolster that a little bit more, toasting the cacao so you get a more of a true chocolate flavor. It's hard to like, fully describe without you experiencing it. Mm -hmm. I smell it more than I taste it. Yeah, kind of, it blends yeah. in with the with the vanilla. It does. I did not need two vanilla beans for this. <laughs> I don't know why I put two in there. But it works. It works. Oh man, that works. It smells really good too. It does. The aroma is really nice. Even, even just, okay, I was gonna say, just even a little bit left yeah, in the there's more, man. That Muck. is a different level of epic. I'm not kidding. You told me that was a hundred dollar bottle of wine <laughs> or port, and I would believe it in a heartbeat. Thank you. And I'd pay it. <laughs> that is special. Thanks. I appreciate it. This might take the new number one place as my favorite thing you've ever made. Dang. That's and that that's tough competition. <laughs> I know you've had so many in my I've had so many meats. <laughs> They're all so good. You know, as usual, I will have uh, oh, down in the description man. all of the videos. I think at the end of this video, I will like put the little clicky card if you're on your computer anyway. You can click on that and see the first video of a series. And I'll also have the, in just in the instructions down below as well so that you don't like, don't have to watch all the videos, you know, but. But do. <laughs> But, but they're do. fun anyway. They are. This is good. I'm very happy with this. I love this. It's like it's <clears throat> actually very well balanced just on its own. It doesn't need a thing done to it. I mean, yeah. Not one thing. Maybe just mess around with some real fruit. I said real fruit. I mean, is real fruit just juiced? <laughs> is that different? Whole fruit instead of just fruit juice. Yes, exactly. Maybe do it again. Exactly two and do it in two different types. The first type exactly the same way mm -hmm. to try to replicate it. Yeah. And the second way with the toasted cacao and the whole fruit in addition to the juice. And then we can compare them. Oh, that's true. That's a good idea. Because, yeah, I mean, this is like the last bottle of this uh, round. I'd love I'd to compare them side by side mm -hmm. to see how those changes make a difference. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I love this. I truly love this. That's really good. Very oh, happy with man, that. Man, that's good. That's really nice. I have an incredibly talented friend. Thank you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we appreciate you. Um, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>